Hi students, welcome to the session on a microstrip uh, or patch antenna. Right, this is a very important antenna. Let us see this antenna in this session. Right, the other name for microstrip antenna is patch antenna. Right, first what we see, what is a microstrip antenna? The antenna. Antenna made from patches of uh, conducting material that may be any conducting material the antenna made from patches of conducting material on a dielectric substrate above a ground plane is known as a microstrip antenna Right, so the which is an antenna which is made from patches of conducting material that is very important, right? So this conducting material placed on a dielectric substrate. You see here uh, we have a very thin metallic strip called a patch. This is very 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 thin. So patch is nothing but a very thin. So thin means we have to compare, right? What is this? The length must be far less than lambda. So it's a very thin metallic strip. It's called patch. This is the patch, right? So which is placed above the ground plane. This is a ground plane I told you. So the bottom side is ground plane. The patch is kept above the ground plane. The patch and the ground plane are separated by a dielectric sheet called the substrate. Right, so substrate is nothing but a dielectric sheet. Substrate is nothing but a dielectric sheet which separates patch and the ground plane. Right, so that is another important point. Here, the thing is the radiating element and the field lines are photo etched on the dielectric substrate. You, you see the antenna and the field line, this is a field line, both are etched on the dielectric substrate itself right so that is the one biggest advantage of uh, uh, microstrip antenna what is that is okay. the field lines field lines and uh, radiating elements are photo etched photo etched on the dielectric surface dielectric substrate itself right that is the one of, one of the most advantage of uh, most important advantage of what you call microstrip antenna right so this patch this is a patch no this is a radiating patch this may be square in shape rectangular or circular or parabolic right the patch may be of any shape right so feed lines feed lines uh, here we feed the feed lines may be of uh, we can say it's a, it's also a small conducting strip right so the field lines may also be a small conducting strip and uh, in the microstrip antenna we can have uh, two types of polarization one is linear polarization and uh, another one is circular polarization Two type of polarization is now is possible in the um, what do you call microstrip antenna, right? So another important point to be noted is we know that uh, the thickness of the microstrip antenna is very 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 small. So what will happen is the wave generated within the dielectric this substrate that is uh, the wave generated within the dielectric substrate will undergo reflection. That is another important point to be noted wave generator in the dielectric substrate undergoes reflection <laughs> this is another important point in the uh, microstrip antenna the one more important point is what happens when the wave arrives at the edge of the strip when waves arrives at the edge of the strip what will happen is the resultant radiation will be only a small fraction of the incident energy suppose wave <laughs> when the waves arrives at the what you call edge of the strip, the radiation generated will be 
only a small fraction of the incident wave so let us assume this is a wave incident right so the radiation will be only a small fraction of the incident energy so the microscope antenna is considered ineffective antenna msa is ineffective the reason is when the wave arrives at because when the waves arrive uh, arrives arrive at the edge of the strip when the wave arrives at the edge of the strip what happens is resulting radiation resulting radiation is of only small fraction of the incident wave small fraction of the incident wave. so the radiation is very very negligible that's why this antenna is considered to be ineffective right so that is very important thing we must remember so let us see now the advantages and the disadvantage of, of uh, what you call microstrip antenna the main advantage is these antennas can be this antenna can be mounted on a metallic conductor mounted on a metallic conductor. that's what we told about microstrip antenna in the introduction time itself right so this can be mounted on a metallic conductor or any other surface right so that is the one of the biggest advantage and uh, they don't require feed line. Right? So, what is the thing is they don't require space, not feed line. They, they don't require space for feed line. And then, where we keep this feed line? The feed line, I write properly. They don't require space for the feed line. The feed line can be placed behind the ground plane. Field line can be placed behind the ground plane. That is very important point with respect to uh, microstrip antenna. So we don't need to have a separate space for field line. This field line can be placed behind the ground plane. That is uh, another important point to be not, uh, so they can be mounted on a, any metallic space a conducting space they uh, don't require field line the field line can be placed in the uh, what you call ground plane right so this is uh, one more important point and another important point is uh, what you call and uh, fourth advantage is uh, they produce narrow beam of radiation that is highly directed. Narrow beam of radiation is available, right? That is uh, one more advantage. And uh, I told already the matching, matching network and field lines can be fabricated. Simultaneously, that is the biggest advantage. Where we fabricate matching lines and field lines within the antenna structure itself. That's what I told you. Field line can be placed behind the within the antenna structure. Right. So this is another important advantage of microstrip antenna. Right. So what about uh, some disadvantages? D advantages. The disadvantage is, I told already, their efficiency is very less. Their efficiency is very less because radiation is very, very minimum, right? So, bandwidth is small. Bandwidth is small. That is a one more disadvantage or narrow bandwidth, right? So, what is the thing is, another disadvantage is low power handling capacity. So power handling capability 
that is the one more disadvantages so once fabrication is done right we cannot change design there is no provision to change the design these are all the disadvantages of uh, what you call micro strip antenna right so i hope you understand this concept the simple antenna the design is very complicated but uh, we know the theory itself right so if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section i will clarify thank you